Well met everyone, welcome back to Moonshadow Fantasy. I am your host, Maka, coming at you with the Cloud Deck Extreme, the Diamond Weapon, level 90, unsynced for all you dragon farmers out there. We have done every color under the rainbow of dragon, hence the background, and why I'm pleased to report this is the last one that you need. I hope you all get those dino, dino? No, robo dragons. That's it. Anyway, we'll jump into the fight by saying that you need to separate the party into two teams. Tank and healer, two DPS on each team, because the object here is we're going to be jumping from platform to platform with those said teams. Platform A is going to be team one, and platform B is going to be team two. And the move you're looking for here is Diamond Rain. That just went off right there. So as soon as platform two comes out, Team 2 is going to use the little teleporters on the floor to move over to Platform 2. And the next mechanic you're going to be looking for is it's going to be either his shoulders or his chest gun. It changes and it's random. Shoulders is always spread out. And at the same time, he's going to have a big set of claws that comes out and he's going to swipe one, sa one side of the map or the other. So because it was side 2, Team 2 came over to our side. And then we spread out for the for the shoulder mechanic. And then any time a team goes over to another side, that team goes over to the opposite side. So we went up back over to team two side um, because there is a timer and a limit to how many times you can teleport back and forth. Otherwise, we just have the, that team go back, but they can't. So at the same time, that tank, uh, you notice he got a burst damage white. So the tanks are going to always hang out at the north side of the map, no matter what. Um, the team one, uh, That team on the A side just got a big swipe, so they came over to our side. And then we went back to our side, because we're just swapping back and forth and avoiding the giant purple claws that come out. Sometimes there's shoulders, sometimes there's gun. Sometimes there's neither, and it's just a big swipe and some diamond rain. So just look out for what's what. So here we see that the the big chest cannon came out and the claws on the other side. So the other team came to us, and we all stacked together to deal with the gun mechanic and a nice little tight row in front of the A. And then because they came to us, we're going to go to the other side, swapping back and forth while the tanks stay at the north side to deal with their hit mechanics and their burst damage mechanics while the rest of the teams stay on the southern side to avoid the burst damage and to get ready for any coming diamond rain. It's raining diamonds. Could be a rap song. Or a 70s pop song. It's raining diamonds. Hallelujah. It's raining diamonds. Okay, enough of that. Second phase and final phase is going to be your doggo. So you're going to have a short tether or a long tether. Long tethers stay on their side and the short tethers move to a corner of the AoE. Okay, let's see that again in slow-mo because that was a lot really fast. So for this part, you're either going to have a purple long tether or a short pink one. If you have a purple long one, you're going to stand in front of the pool with your back towards the long end for a pushback. And if you have the short tether, you're going to go to the side of the pool facing the other deck for a knockback to go towards the other deck like I just did. So long tether, front, get pushed back backwards. Short tether, side, get pushed back to the other deck. One deck randomly will turn a different shade of color, which is about to explode, blow up, so teleport to the safe deck. Now at the start of the dog phase, uh, I guess you can call it a cat dog, it's a robot. Diamond Weapon here is going to do a lot of tank busters and a lot of outburst. Outburst is a raid wide damage, very high on the damage scale, so heals, you're going to need to be ready for that. Um, he does like several in a row consecutively, as well as tank busters. As soon as the boss turns, and it could be random in any direction, stand behind the boss in the middle 
and look to your sides. What you're looking for is an orb. There's going to be an orb on each side. Whichever orb he's facing, that's the orb he's going to jump to and the side that's not going to be safe. So because he went to that side and that orb, we stayed. But if he would have went to the other orb on our right, we would have had to move forward because he was going to dash where we were standing. Next up is going to be Doomstead, which is your tank buster. I did notice that the tanks here were tank swapping after this tank buster. Is it needed? I do not believe so, but they were doing it anyway. I haven't tested that, but I noticed that they didn't take any damage. Notice the boss is jumped off to the side. So the trick to this one is where he jumped to and the pushback in the center. Okay, there's always going to be a pushback in the center. Well, not always, but if there's a little orb there, there's going to be a pushback. Go to it and aim yourself at a corner. As far as the boss jumping to the sides, you look to where he's looking. If there is not an orb there, run to the boss where he started because he's going to do a boom where he lands and then a pushback. If there is an orb there, run to the orb because he's going to jump off that orb and do a pushback to the other side. Next up is going to be hand bits, so just stay out of the way of the where the bits are facing and stay in between the hand bits that come out afterwards. Notice that he also did a dash, so again you want to look towards the left or right sides to see where the orb is to see where the safe zone is going to be. So you're dodging bits that are blasting um, left and right and then up and down. So away from the bits, in between the bits, and then look to the orb to see where you're going to be facing. But yeah, that's it. That's the fight. It's super easy and quick. I wish you all the best of RNG luck. Thank you very much everyone for watching and watching all my unsynced guides. It's been a blast. I've had a lot of fun making all these videos. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for um, subscribing. To all my subscribers, uh, please like the video, share them with the friends if anyone's going to be farming these dragons. And I hope you all get those robot mounts. Maka is out. Let me try that again. Maka is out.